Okay. Welcome back to OK Sydney. You know, today we're talking about me being an only child. Mom, thanks for that, I guess. So does that mean you like being the only no, child? No, I do not. Why not? It really is not fun. So tell me some advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages is, of course, where we're going to start because it's m mostly a negative experience. I don't recommend. Um... You get the label of being a spoiled brat because there's no other kid to split the money with anymore. And then um, you just, you get a bunch of labels. You get spoiled brat. You get like, everyone, like they think everyone who's an only child, they're just, they just have like a negative attitude about everything. Which, I mean, I do with some things, but they just think that everything is just like all about them. Um, positives. So um, your friends are telling you when you're an only child, you think everything. I didn't is just necessarily about you. say my friends, just people in general. Okay, they just assume that everything yes, is about that you. I'm spoiled. That just everything's about me. Obviously, everything is gonna be about you if you're an only child. Okay, so what are some other things? Um, positives. I might think of negatives later, but positives would be. Well, I don't know any positives, cause like. You just get everyone just assumes too much about only child. So there's children. no positives that you can no, think of. No, I really well, can't. Well, I can think of several. So they think you have like higher like well, chance first of, of being all, jealous. And I like had three siblings. I have three siblings, and I never had my own room. So a positive for you would be having your okay, own room, not having to share. None of my siblings share their room, or none of my friends share their room with their siblings. Okay, lucky your friends, but a lot of people still share rooms. That's true. That's um, true. Secondly, there's more money for Sydney. Yes. You don't have to worry about uh, splitting the budget between anyone else. Yeah, I mean, that's um, what I'm saying. Yeah. So you get to be, in, okay, a positive is that you get to be involved in a lot more. You like get to be involved in a lot more. My friends are like, more. oh, how do you, like, do all this stuff? It's because, like... And, like, some of the stuff I do, like, costs a lot, but, like, that also just goes back into, like, there's nobody to split the money with, so you get to do a lot more stuff that you like. Like, a lot more vacations, a lot more. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm spoiled, it's just that I get more opportunities or whatever. Yeah, you can look at it that way. Like, you, okay, let's say if I had a, like, if I had a, a sibling. And I would not, I feel like I would not be, like, on the news, like, I couldn't be, like, on the news or all of that that I've been on. Like, you just, might. Well, no, I'm, because you, you that, your that's going to be jealousy written all over it. If one sibling gets on the news and gets to do these interviews and all this stuff that I got to do, then that's different. Yeah. Because if one gets to do it, then the other has to do it. It's if they want to. You never know. It's They'll just because I had siblings doesn't mean we necessarily mean that we are all interested in the same things. I but, mean, that, but, but who doesn't want but to But with like, also having siblings, you know, the parents also want to make things fair. So I if know. you're involved in something, you know, if you had a sibling, we'd want to make sure they're involved in some in an extracurricular activity if they choose, if they right. chose to. But I think that, you know... I can see your point where you're not having a sibling because it's like you have that bond with siblings sometimes and you can talk to them about different things. You can hang out. If I had a sibling, out. I feel like I if would If you're be... the oldest, you can drive them places, no, take them different places. No, that's what I won't do. That's what I won't do if I have a sibling. Um, you know. Absolutely not. You could kind of teach them things with you being the oldest, you know, showing them the ropes and. Um, sure. Well, you know, sure. helping them with their studies things like that there's a lot of positive you know my I, I love my siblings and you know my sister my youngest sister your aunt char you know we're only two years apart so yeah i mean but my the my friends that i know that have siblings they don't do any of that they're just terrible to each other but some things siblings do like tell on each other that could be a negative yeah but yeah you know, such and such stayed out late Okay. As soon as you make their sibling mad, they're telling on you. I'm sure you have friends who have siblings that they've told on yeah. them if they've done something wrong. Yeah, I do. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, I know. But like, that's just raise them not to do that. Cause that's yeah, not you it's just human nature. No, you they're can tell them tell not to do you. that. They're Don't gonna tell like on that. you. 
We've all done it. Okay, all don't be like it. that. If you have, a- I'm sure your dad has told on his sister. I've told nah. on my sisters and brother. Wow, mom. Yep. That's a shame. Yep. Why not? They're your sibling. You're supposed to like. If I, like, you're supposed when you have a sibling, you're supposed to like. Okay, you can tell on them, but have their back while you're doing that. You could do that. Time. Sometimes you have their back, but if, as soon as they make you mad. Okay, but if you no, because if you're telling on them, like a sibling. You could be looking out for them while you like do the same thing. Like you could be looking out, mm-hmm. but then there's a difference well, there's between times. doing that. Where and then just straight up just being like that, just to be like that. Yeah, but with siblings, it's always going to be sibling, sibling rivalry. You know, it's it's always going to be, um, you know, who somebody's trying to prove that they're better than the other one. I shouldn't say always. You know, some yeah. siblings don't go through that. And, I mean, yeah. you know, some siblings will say, hey, I'm going to do this. I need you to cover for me. Make sure you don't tell. Make sure you tell mom. And then and they're going to tell. So it's not even know. any point in doing that. You never know. Again, it just depends on the age difference, how close you are. You know, it just depends. You never know what you're going to get when you're a sibling. Yeah, I just mm, I just don't understand why we didn't why you didn't. Well, there's a lot of things you don't know at 14. That you don't understand. Well, okay. But I think, you know, it took us a long time to have kids. You were our our one and only, and God, we felt like God blessed us with you. And if he wanted us to have more, we would have had more. So you are a blessing. And God gave us you. We're blessed to have you. And you have tons of cousins who love you. And you have a cousin that's literally just a few months older than you. Okay. A male cousin. So D'Angelo, it's kind of like a big brother. D'Angelo yeah. is not a... No. Yeah? No. You guys like the same things. You're in the same grade. So it's even a bonus because you no. have a cousin that's kind of like a brother. Okay, yeah, he's kind of like to, a brother. He doesn't have but... to live with you to drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah. He's, I guess he's close enough to his sibling. I don't really know. Yeah. He just, he's something. I'm sure he feels the same way about Sydney. His friends are mean to me. I probably, that probably would happen if we, if I did have a sibling. Their yeah. friends probably would be just as mean. I'm sure, especially if you had a brother. Yeah. Maybe telling you, Sydney, get out of my room. I wouldn't be Stop in the room. Stop talking to my friends. I wouldn't be in the why room. Why are you wearing that? They would. They, You're why, embarrassing me. Why would they? Okay, no, because we used to sneak in my brother's bedroom, and and uh, back then they had uh, cassettes. You know, that you'd put in the boombox. I know you probably don't even know what a cassette is. Yes, I do. Oh, Every time you bring up a cassette, you tell me I know nothing about it. Anyway, we would go in his sneak in his room when he wasn't there, and get his cassettes and play them. And he would always know when we would touch stuff. I don't know how, because we would always put it back before he'd get home. And he would always threaten us. I'm putting a lock on my door. He never did. but Yeah, of course. Yeah, he'd, Why have, y'all he'd being have all Snoop the cool then? games. You know, back then it was Atari. And I think it was Nintendo. I don't remember. I know it was Atari. He had the game, so we would go in there and play games. Um, You know, he had all kinds of little uh, sports figurines and everything that you wanted to play with and touch he'd have it in his room so we'd sneak in there and get stuff and then he'd had a bike Um, it was a 10 speed of course we didn't know how to ride a 10 speed because we're much younger I could see you doing that no crashed in front of the house we didn't have a garage back then oh I could see you because I thought the wheel you know back in the day you turn the um <laughs> that's funny you turn that's the pedals to backwards to stop yeah so 10 speed of course you know the gears are on the the handlebar so i, I forgot so i was Mom, the, of course you forgot i was taking the <laughs> pedals and trying to go backwards <laughs> <laughs> I, I can just imagine you doing that so, which boom. is worse and um, then he had a tandem you know what a tandem yes, is two people yeah so your aunt and i were out riding we didn't tell him we didn't ask so we were out That's riding, got, hooked, got on some gravel, slid, both of us went flying off. Which one? T.T. or? Yep, T.T. Shar. 
And so we get home and she's crying. I was okay. She was all scratched up. She comes home crying. Oh. Arms <laughs> all scraped up, bleeding. Stop. That's like bullying, mom. So that's what siblings do. No. I mean, I just. I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't, I'm fine. I've gone this long being independent at this point. Well, you can be independent and still have siblings. No, I'm just the main character. You are a character, that's for sure. Mom! You are. I I am the main character because I'm a only child. You are an only child, but you're a blessed child. You've had to experience a lot. And we got to go on a lot of vacations. Um, you got to be involved in a lot of different things. And you got to meet a lot of people. I know. I really do meet a lot of people, especially when we go on vacation. I miss that. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Coven. Thanks a lot. So some of, well, I'm looking at a website, and it says pros and cons of being the only child. One of the advantages it lists is you may grow up to be more independent and able to find to fend I know. for yourself better if your parents haven't spoiled you by attending to, to your each and every need. But y'all don't. Well, that's a good thing. Exa- I know. That's what I'm saying. It's not a bad thing, guys. Disadvantages. The lack of help from older siblings may put too much pressure on the parents and cause on the parents and cause conflicts. I just want a brother. Then you have D'Angelo. Stop. D'Angelo is no. His friends He's are mean and he always talks well, you to don't my have friends. To be friends with his friends. He his he always talks to my friends that are girls. Like well, No. That's what siblings Enough. do. Enough. Did one another advantage is you get the undivided love and attention of your parents. <sighs> do you get undivided yeah, love and attention? Sure. Disadvantages, the child could develop little emperor syndrome what is that it's a situation in which the parents lavish their love attention and resources on one child and as a result the child becomes spoiled and behaves like I'm a little not. emperor i'm not i don't <laughs> act like princess. a little emperor <laughs> another don't. advantage is obviously being an only child means that your parents have only you to spend the money on so you would not have to share it among other siblings you talked about that but a disadvantage of that is the child gets used to having everything done, managed, and taken care of no, by their parents. No, So you don't feel that that happens? It's, I don't feel that it's happened. Maybe it has, but I don't feel that it has. Mm. Well, has it? I don't know. Okay. You tell me. I don't think so. Another advantage is you get more toys than normal, more money to spend than normal, and more inheritance than normal. Well, you definitely had a lot of toys growing up. That's for sure. More toys Hence than you the, can like three toy ever, boxes down. You ever played with? And disadvantages, you may lack self confidence. Do you lack self confidence? Yep. In you? Sometimes. Yeah, and what? Self com. I love. I lack confidence in myself. Why? I don't know. What do you lack confidence oh, in? Oh my goodness! Your looks. We're not talking about this. Your intelligence. All of the above. Behavior. Well, you are you are beautiful oh, and you're thank smart. Thank you, mom. Thank you. And you're kind and you're sometimes loving to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe um, if I had a sibling, we wouldn't have that problem. Maybe. There is no maybe, mom. I just it's over. I Here's guess. another advantage: you are not expected to live up to the standards of older siblings. That's a good one. I would an older be an old sibling, sibling, they would say, well, you need to act more like your sister or your brother doesn't do that. You probably do that and I'd get irritated. The disadvantage is parents may become too attached to the child's success and try to live through them rather than giving them space. Mm. Mm. Yes. Do we give you enough space? No. I think we do. No, because every time I do get space, it's like, why don't you spend time with us? No, we can let it go for a while before we say, Sydney, come down. We haven't seen you all day. <laughs> Otherwise, you just live in your bedroom like a hermit. Yeah, I do like my bedroom. And you only come down and eat her food. I- mm, or ask to go for car rides. Yeah, because they're fun. I spend time with you in the car. Yeah, and while you're listening to your music and your earbuds, pods, Earpods. pods. 
Okay, another advantage is our parents are able to spend more money, time, and attention on the child's school. Parents will find it easier to save for their child's college education. Disadvantage is the, perhaps the most apparent disadvantage of being an only child is the feeling of loneliness, not having a sibling to play with regularly, or who they are able to share their thoughts and memories with can be difficult. Is that difficult for you? I don't you really. feel lonely sometimes? No. Because I got people to talk to. You got a lot of friends, huh? No, don't say that. Because I don't. You have a lot of acquaintances. Acquaintances. I have a few friends, yeah, that I truly think that are my friends. I'm sure you do. An advantage would be you may become more comfortable talking to adults because you're around adults that, all the time. No. That makes sense, right? No, I'm definitely not. The disadvantage is when your parents get older, being an only child can leave you to shoulder the responsibility of taking care of your parents on your own, which might be overwhelming. And it will be. Aw, I'm sorry. Oh, do not. It is sad when you start thinking about it, but hopefully we have a long way to go before we start thinking about that. An advantage is parents may spend more time teaching you to be independent so that you can build your confidence and feel less pressure. A disadvantage is parents may put too much pressure on the child, causing anxiety and low self-esteem. Do you think we put too much pressure on you? Don't ask me that. Why? Sometimes, but yeah. not wrong. What do you think most of the pressure comes stems from? School? Yes. Yeah. So what do you know about us in school? It's the main thing. It's very school important. To be educated. Education is very important to us. I want to be educated. Well, I hope so. That's why you're in school. Yeah. Did you, do you think you had enough playing time with other kids your age when you were growing up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think you would have changed or something you would have wanted differently other than having a sibling, of course? Like younger when you were younger. That's about it. Yeah. Or I don't know. Either that's just it, or like I don't know. Cause where we're at is fine, like living wise. Yeah. Do you think you had um, friends in the neighborhood you could play with, or you had more friends? No. In preschool, literally had one friend in the neighborhood that I played with. Yeah, but that's she's the only child too. Yeah. Do you ever ask her, or asked her if she wanted a sibling? Not necessarily. I never. That really never came never up. Never came up. But she's moved now, so. Yeah, I think with um, people who have siblings, like for me, my siblings were, the older two were so much older, you know, like your Aunt Kim was like 11 years older, and Keith, Uncle Keith was like, he was like eight or nine years older, and then came me, and then T.T. Shar came two years after me, so there's such a big gap between of us. Do you think she thought she was going to be on my child? Mm, I don't think so. I think because her and your uncle were so, you know, close in age. But um, I don't think they thought they were going to have two more siblings after that time went by. So we weren't close until we got much older because she was already married and out of the house by the time I right. was 13, maybe. Um, I can't imagine you being a teenager. So just imagine the oldest being raised in the strict house and then us coming along and okay, seeing us get away with things that I know, they weren't I was allowed gonna to say, do. I was gonna they say, were like, this is not fair. You not never strict. let me yeah. get away with that. I know. Um, and a lot of the stuff, like we were like, it was really strict with us. So I can't imagine how strict it was with my older brother and sister. You know, I we know. were like, couldn't go to sleepovers, rarely. Wow, that's, wow. That's we neat. were like, wanted to go to like the skating ring to hang out. That was. Yeah, I'm not really I into I can't remember that. that happening maybe I'm really once not. or twice. Um, even just riding the bike. We could only ride the bike to a stop sign where she can see oh, like out of her window. Yeah, I remember having to do that, but not anymore, obviously. Yeah. Except I still really want to be able to go to stores by myself. 
like our stores that I can ride my bike to. I'm like what stores are close? Drug Mart. What I did before. Will you walk with a friend? No, we brought. You're not gonna. You're not gonna do that by yourself. Why? If maybe if I had a sibling, I could go with them. You can go with someone else, but not by yourself. Well, why? Like I don't understand. Because there's crazy people out there, and I don't want anyone to hurt you. Okay, that's understandable. So what else some some things that you've learned about being the only child and talking to some friends that have siblings? What are some Everybody things that, that I know that has siblings just argue with them 24/7. It's hard to listen to. So see what you see what you're avoiding? I'd rather I like taking my anger out on other people. Yeah, cuz who am I going to take out now? People who don't deserve it. But therefore if I had a sibling, then maybe I would take it out on them. If you have that many anger issues, I don't you might have see anger issues. Some help. I don't have anger issues. I just have that tendency. To be angry? No. If I had a bad day, who do I take out on myself? There's no other person I'll be talked to about other it. Ways to I'm not going to talk to you about it because you're older. Like, you're not, you're not gonna my tell friend. Me when you're angry? No. No. You tell me it's things. It's not relatable, half the stuff I say. It's not you relatable. Tell me things. Yeah, but you give your, for in your 40s ideas. Like I need. <laughs> Sorry, in your thirties, you give your in your twenties ideas. Sorry. Mm-hmm. So, do you think the situations that you're experiencing at fourteen were different than when I was fourteen? Yes. This How is so? not like the nineties. So you don't think any situations you're going through? Has no, happened this back is when not. This is this is not like the eighties. This is 2021 and a no, pandemic. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm asking. Do you think at fourteen? Nope, none of the situations no. existed. When I, it's, we are not the same. No, and I'm not saying we that we are the not the same. same. But I'm saying a lot of the situations you're going through, the same things happened when I was. Oh, 14, I doubt that me. you had to deal with deal with. Now we didn't have social media and the phones that we had connected to our ears and. I doubt TVs that you that had stayed to... on at every station with reality TV that didn't exist. No, no, but mama... but situations and. The drama, the bullying, the the gossiping, the backstabbing, the dating, the breakups, all that stuff existed. Yeah, like you, yeah, but you don't have to deal with, you don't have to deal with, you don't have to deal with like teachers being mad for no reason because of the pandemic. People just being mad. Yeah, no, we never went through a pandemic. Yeah, I get that. No, that I understand. I've never. I didn't go through it at 14. I'm talking about some of the situations in regards to school, friends. No, it's different for me this year. It's different in high school. It's just different. Yeah, it was different for me in high school. Yes, but this is a different type of difference. This is a different selection of people they chose to go through this. You are correct. This pandemic is definitely something I've never experienced. And going to a new school, school, new place, new high school mm-hmm. pandemic it's it's a lot and no sibling to talk to about it you can always talk to your mom and no dad, even if you don't you think don't we understand, understand. Who, what's the, that's, just, that's like talking to a but brick at, wall. at the same time the only people that understand are the ones that are going through it and we're all going through it at this but time but not in high school are you not in high school yeah but if you ever need help that you don't think that we you can talk to us we can always find you someone to talk that's to. in high school I don't want, like, a 30-year-old to talk to. So you don't have any friends that you can talk to in high school? I do, but it's, like, And do you? Yes. And you guys can relate to one another? Yes, definitely. Yeah. But that's about it. That's about it. I just... Being an only child is hard sometimes. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. But I like where I'm at. Yeah. I do. All right. I definitely understand why it can be tough sometimes. But I want you to know that you are loved mm. unconditionally. You have parents that care about you tremendously more than you'll ever know. And just be close to your family. Family is there um, for you through thick and thin, the good and the worse. Even when they're mad at you, they'll still love you. Mm-hmm. So remember that. Right. Anyway, guys, tune in. Uh what are we eastern central time eastern time okay anyway new episodes 
every Wednesday midnight. What are we? What are we again? Eastern time. Eastern time. Not midnight Easter East, time. Eastern. Eastern time. Okay, that's it. Signing off. That's it.